c'est pas juste une université qui est célèbre au Canada, mais est, elle est aussi célèbre à travers le monde. C'est une université très connue, bonne réputation, fait que je suis fière d'être étudiante ici. The atmosphere at the school is very uh, fun. There's a lot of activities that go on, like 5 à 7, that happen at bars and stuff, so people get to know each other. The people at UDM are very uh, enthusiastic and very helpful compared to uh, some of my initial ideas that I had compared to other universities. Tu peux avoir des bourses étudiantes pour pouvoir justement voyager. C'est l'une des raisons pourquoi j'ai choisi de faire un cours de japonais. Je voudrais vraiment aller étudier au Japon. I'm a very hands-on person. I like to apply what I learn. So theory or going all out memorizing wasn't exactly an option for me. So UDM law is very, very practical. We do cases, right? We practice our, our exams, our cases, and you apply directly the law that you learned. No, it was pretty easy to readjust to a French university. And even if I did have problems, uh, I had friends and teachers who were really willing to uh, help me adjust to it. You have uh, the center of uh, written communication, so they will let you, they will help you out on it and they will help you see how to write French properly, will help you with syntax. I haven't used it myself, but I really like the fact that it's there. So, for people who are really wondering whether U of M is for them, I would suggest talking to people, get to know uh, the stories of people who have been through what you're about to go through, and it's really not that hard. You get to use tools like the dictionary, the internet, you get to find out different people who are in the same program as you, who are English as well, and it really helps you. Like, it's not that big of a deal. You shouldn't be scared to take that step, because it's really a great university that you can really learn a lot from. Don't be afraid on it. Um, French people, Quebecers, they're still afraid to speak English, and many of them go to Anglophone CGIPs. So if they could do it on CGIP and it's not easy for them, uh, we have the same resources on university level. And you should come also and practice more your French. Like, don't worry, you won't find only people that speak French, you will find a lot of people that speak English.